how to add tone effects for images in Clip Studio Paint. Key panels here are Layer and Layer Property, and you can find those via the Window menu. Go to the Layer Property panel, and at the top, select Tone. And what you can see there is the number of screen frequency, and that just increases or decreases the size of the frequency. You can see more or less dots. You can change the angle. You can also use posterization. Now I'm not going to be using that in this video. I just quickly want to show you, you can set the posterization settings. That creates some interesting effects as well. Turn that off. What you can then do, let's say go to the angle, change the angle of the dots. You can also change the dot position, X as well as Y. You can see a tone has been added via the little tone thumbnail that has been added to that layer in the layer panel. You can also go to the layer color tab and change colors. Layer color as well as the sub color. So you can make it red, green, blue, black. Just change the color in the color settings and just flood the layer color or sub color. You can use that to create even more amazing tone effects. Now you can set the dot settings to square, lozenge, line. Line's really great. Change the angle of that line. You can also go to cross, ellipse. Noise is probably one of the more interesting ones because you've got noise size as well as noise factor. Sadly, that's not available with all the others. Be a nice combination, but it's not. So you can just noise size and noise factor, and you can modify those. Create all kinds of sort of rain effects, more coarse designs. Unusual grains. What you can do, if you want to add some more amazing tones, is add another layer. Simply just duplicate the current layer by the layer menu. And once you've done that, you can see now you've got two layers with tones. And they're currently they're set exactly the same. But what you can do is change the string frequency for one and not the other. You can change the angle. You can also go to, and it's a key thing here, change the opacity as well as the blending mode. Otherwise you won't see the lower layers. So you can go for difference, darken, multiply. And I'm going to mainly use darken in this tutorial, but you can also try the others. Add, lighten, divide, etc. And again, you can see some really amazing designs just simply now by moving the dot position as well as the angle and changing screen frequency. But you can also change the dot settings for each of the layers. So you go for line combined with a circle. A great combo of line and circle. And again, you can change the dot position. Cross. Go for noise, noise and circles, noise and squares, noise with noise. There's all kinds of combinations that can be created. And again, changing the blending modes, you can see you can create all kinds of different designs. And of course you can go to the layer color and then combine those as well. So you could have green and blue in one and black and red in another. You see black dots at the back, black circles, and you've got red streaks through the picture, which is really quite a nice design as well, if that's what you want. But I'm just going to mainly stick to black and white. Back to circles there. Remove the layer colour. Change the colour, up to you. Personally, I prefer just the black and white, but it, just to show you, you can use colour to create some really interesting designs as well. What you can do then is go to duplicate it again, duplicate the layer. Maybe change the blending mode. You don't have to use them all as darken. Some you can have as add, some as lighten, and then you can see it just like near enough a snowstorm. 
And you can change again some of the settings, noise, go for angle, change the screen frequency, dot position, and you can do it three, four, five, six, seven times. Sometimes at some point, you probably find you can hardly see the original image. But just a bit of experimentation, just combining it with blending modes and different settings, all kinds of unique tone designs can be created. Again, another duplicate layer. Once you're happy with the image, what you can do, go to Layer Menu and Flatten Image. The end result may slightly change, but it's close enough. And then of course what you can do, go to Filters, maybe apply a Blur, Mosaic, some Transforms, as well as many others, or export to Critter or Affinity Photo. I'm going to show you another way of creating some really interesting tone effects in Clip Studio Paint. Using selections, just go to like Polyline via the selection tools in the toolbar. Create a quick polyline there, you can see the selection just applied to part of the image. And then copy and paste. Command or Control C and V, usual for copy and paste. Once you've done that, you've got a new layer and you can change the tone for that. So set tone and then just change the screen frequency, the angle, and you can see it's just applied to that layer. The other layer is untouched. Now what you can do, go back to the original layer and again, use polyline or rectangle and select it again and then copy and paste again via the edit menu or Command or Control C and V. Again, change the screen frequency. You can keep them all the same. Circles or perhaps a different dot setting. Go for lines, go for noise, for the selection. Again, go back to the original layer. You can select different areas, but you can also overlap the selections. Create unique designs that way. Change the screen frequency. Then you can go and set maybe the angle, change the dot position, change dot setting. Maybe go for noise this time. So you've got noise, noise factor. A whole patchwork of dots can be added to your image. You can repeat this 10, 15, 100 times. Create all kinds of dot designs across that image. You can also change the position of the layer, perhaps duplicate the layer. Many, many options are available. Go for tone again, go over there for that. Change the dot setting. Change the number of screen frequency. Change the angle, change the dot position. Go for cross. Go to the layer color and you can change the colors. So you can have different colors for different layers. Great, unique patchworks that way. Again, go down to the original layer and select another area. Repeat this until you're happy with your image. Now, once you're happy with that, go to the layer menu and flatten the image. And that's it. You've got a wonderful image that you can manipulate in many, many other ways. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. It's uh, always appreciated. Uh, also, add some comments and also dislike or like. Thank you much.